So my aim is under I'd like to uh, show you CodeBook, which is a, a new wearable programmable device to teach coding and electronics to youngsters and beginners. The idea came from when we were doing workshops with Raspberry Pi, so we created Pi Face and that was really successful, but we were finding some people were having to spend a bit of time setting up the Raspberry Pi, installing it, and so the nice thing about this is you don't need to install it, you don't need to have any complicated software, it all just works straight from the web browser. And then because it also works with the Raspberry Pi, then the Raspberry Pi is the next step. So this is really the really quick introduction to electronics and coding, and then the Raspberry Pi is the follow-up. I mean, it's basically it's three years worth of development, and there's uh, been a real challenge to make it as easy as it is to the user. So, the really quick sort of um, experience that the user gets is as a result of lots of work from our point of view to try and hide it and, and hide some of the complexity of dealing with an embedded platform. I think really we're most proud in terms of having coming up with this idea and defining a new class of wearable device uh, that nobody had done before and this idea that you can program it from the web browser and any, anybody can get into embedded electronics and as such uh, we, you know, we did some early trials and then from that we got the Kickstarter and got that funded so we're really pleased and in fact the community came behind us and supported us in terms of getting this out to market and then obviously Element 14 have come in to commercialise it and sort of get it out globally, worldwide so we'd be really excited to get it into the hands of lots of lots of people worldwide and they can start making and learning uh, about computers and electronics. Well, it's designed as the introductory point, um, so it comes before Raspberry Pi, so you can do really mm. simple things, you can get something sort of going in, in 20 uh, minutes or so, you can put the battery in it and then you can wear it, so it becomes a wearable you can take out with you, and it's a really simple sort of bit of I.O. And then we see that the Raspberry Pi will be the follow-on device, so this will then just sit on the Raspberry Pi, just the actual expansion uh, pins on the bottom sit on the Raspberry Pi expansion header and you can program it with Python, connect it up to the internet, use it with Twitter and so the Raspberry Pi is about sort of the, the enabling gateway uh, which takes it further. Codebook is aimed at everyone. We wanted to really open up the space of uh, embedded electronics. So it's not just engineers that want to create things, it's that anybody, you know, we've had six year olds create their own little projects. We've seen lots of things we wouldn't actually expect that you can do with it. So somebody's um, made it create sounds, you can play simple music, simple tunes with it. Then somebody's remixed it, because one of the nice things about our um, community is you can take a project and then um, build something else with it. So then somebody's used that for a child safety gate, so it buzzes whenever they leave the gate open on the stairs for longer than sort of a period of time. So that was sort of some of the practical things. We've seen a child use it as a display, they've built a model bus and then use this as a scrolling message on the front of the bus, like you see the real buses saying where it goes, so that's given them something to play with it. Uh, and then we've seen various games that people can make, sort of uh, memory games and steady hand games and uh, use it as a dice with their uh, existing board games. So it really is this fun thing that people can play with and at the same time they're learning how to use the electronics and computing. Uh, so we've got a very exciting roadmap for additional products which you'll, you mean you can do even more things with Codebook. Uh, we've got various themed ideas that you can do with it, so we'll tie in with different times of year and things like that. And really we'd just like to see um, a whole... We, we're excited by what we see the children do with it, what youngsters, they've got all the imagination the ideas and they'll just take it and use it in ways that we've never thought possible. So if just give you a quick demo of one of the things that you can do with yeah, this this book here. Um, so this is just a, a fun game which just shows you what bits of fruit you're touching. So if I touch the ground and then I touch the orange, then you can see it's detected the circuit going between these two um, points that these these legs of the codebook are, are inputs and outputs. Uh, if I touch a different fruit, then you see it says plum and of course banana. So you can use that as a simple I.O. You might have seen makey makey boards, things like that. Uh, from a technical point of view, if you, I know some people are really interested in the core text details, two um, switches that you can interact with, 5x5 um, five five grid of LEDs for displaying messages, um, there's a full you know, set of fonts in, in installed. Uh, there's the four I.O. pins which can be configured as inputs or outputs uh, and then on the bottom of 
have an expansion connector, which has got the SBI, I2C, UART, and just standard IL pins. And that's configured in such a way that um, if you get the Raspberry Pi, um, it will just sit on top of the Raspberry Pi, and uh, you can then program it and interact with it using the Raspberry Pi. Great. No software to install it all. It's done through the, through the web, through the cloud, if you like to call it. So if you want to create you know, a typical thing like a, a scrolling name badge is a, a fun project. It's done in Blockly, which is similar to Scratch, which a lot of um, young people are used to, familiar with. And you just drag and drop the blocks. So we're going to scroll the sprite. So we've got that block which says you're going to scroll something. We've got this missing bit of the jigsaw, which we need to tell it what you want to scroll. And so um, I'm just going to say hello codebook as going to be my demo. So yeah, so we've typed in hello codebook there. And then if we click the play icon, we can see there's an online simulator which shows what this program will do. And then so I'm happy with that. So then I can click download and then the program comes and I can save that onto my hard disk. I'm going to plug in the codebook. So I'm holding down button A whilst I'm plugging it in. That's put it in bootloader mode. So it's flashing to say that it's in, in bootloader mode. And it's actually it's now um, come up as a drive. So it's just coming up as a USB disk drive. So no software to install. That just, just appears as a drive. Um, I just bring up my downloads, so this is the project we downloaded just a second ago. I just drag and drop that onto this drive which has appeared. We see there's a second light appeared, which says that it's ready. I press button B and to restart the program and you see it says hello codebook. So that's the program that we've just created. So, I um, mean the nice thing about the codebook website is as well as actually programming it, it's also got a whole range of um, activities so we've got ideas like there's a dance map game that you could build um, with it or your know, badges wearable steady hand game so lots of ideas of things that you can create with it and then clicking on one of these will take you through a step-by-step -step guide of uh, how to create the hardware and then a step-by-step um, -step with blocks which you can click through which will guide you through to correct the program so if you've never done it before it will tell you exactly how to do it and the nice thing about it once you've done it you can be able to share it with other people so you've got this sense of community uh, you can see different projects people have made so somebody is Mike Cook uh, who I wrote a book with and um, has created uh, this nice dice example so this shows the interactivity nature um, that if you press um, button A then it triggers an animation as it throws the dice and then you see you've got two so you could use that as a game and then you can actually um, either share it through social media or remix it and make your own projects you might think I want to improve that I want to put something else in so it's got a real nice community feel to the website and so if you're looking for ideas, if you're looking for the expertise of how to do it, then the website is basically your sort of step, um, stepping into point of uh, starting point. All right, great. Thanks very much. All right, thanks.